Ladies and gentlemen, due to coronavirus 2020, there will be no council tax payable for the next six months. I repeat, there is no council tax payable in Manchester due to the coronavirus contagion outbreak. You are all free to go home and enjoy the last days as you see fit. Enjoy the extra £150 per month to maybe buy some gas masks, prepare some rice, some beans, some emergency water. Ladies and gentlemen, this message has been brought to you by Manchester City Council. There is no council tax payable for the next three months. Thank you. You're enjoying it though, because you're smiling. <laughs> oh, what's your name anyway? I'm Charlie, anyway. No, it's Charlie. That's okay, that's me done. No, it's Charlie. Okay, thank you. Anyway, just for the record, security's been really cool about it, so thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of Armani, I hope you are also selling the coronavirus collection from Italy. I hear it's very hot in Milan and Rome right now. Thousands of people wearing it. Anyway, how's business? How's the Italian uh, fashion couture business going with coronavirus? Still okay? No? No reaction? No smiles from the big security guard? No? Thumbs up? Thank you. Let's talk. Okay, just a little private property. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You're on camera too. So, uh, megaphone is not allowed in the SK. What do you mean? This is not allowed? Yeah, because you... Megaphone's not allowed? It's not allowed. You need to use it on spinning fish fire, so that's why I came to advise you. I know you're only doing your job, but there's nothing we can do. I'm, I'm in the street. No, it's private property. They say it's for... It's, it's not private property. I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be going that way. I'm going. I'm gonna yeah, be leaving. Down that way, down that way. I'll be leaving. Private, yeah, so yeah. That's fine. As long as you Anyway, my name's Charlie. Anyway. Charlie, nice meeting you. Have a good day. Thank you. I'll see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, good news. Because of coronavirus, you don't need to keep turning up at those office jobs that you hate. You can go home and pursue your dreams. Coronavirus has saved us all from a mundane, boring existence, sat at a desk, getting fat and stupid making the boss rich. We can all go home now, enjoy ourselves. Coronavirus has saved the day. Ladies and gentlemen, this message is brought to you by the Department of Health from Manchester City Council. You can all go home now. There is no need to do any more work because the economy has failed, China's failed, everything's failed. Coronavirus has ended it all. We can all go back to being cavemen and living in the jungle. Thank you very much. Goodbye. There's some caught shoplifters. We're inside Boots, the chemist, the pharmacist. We're not going to cause too much alarm, so we'll go to the entrance. Coronavirus will kill 7% of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are filming an episode of The Public Are Scared of Coronavirus. Please act natural. Act a little bit scared for the camera. Three, two, one, action! That's really good, madam with the umbrella. A bit more fear, please. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is 93% of you will not be killed by coronavirus. See the 100 people around you? Pick seven of them. They're not going to make it. But you will, ladies and gentlemen. You'll make it. Come on, coronavirus. Taking out 7% of you! And cut! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Piccadilly Gardens Blackhead and Junkie Hunting Squad. Please report your dearest junkie to the man with the megaphone, and we will confiscate their drugs and dispose of them in a calm and orderly manner. Ladies and gentlemen, Report your backhand and junkies to the man with the megaphone. We are clearing up Manchester city centre. For too long, the scumbags have been turning it into the Calais jungle. We've had enough. This is not a scumbag city. This is the great Manchester. Down with the scumbags. Down with the junkies. Down with the bagheads.
Ladies and gentlemen, report your local drug dealer to the man with the megaphone, and I will consume, sorry, I will confiscate all their drugs in a safe and controlled manner. My favorite drugs for confiscation are cannabis, high quality cocaine, and at a push, I will confiscate ecstasy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you see any junkies or bagheads smoking spice, be a vigilante and take the spice off them. Thank you very much. This message has been brought to you by Manchester City Council in association with the Worldwide Kill the Bagheads initiative. Thank you. You may go back to your shopping. I hope coronavirus doesn't get you. The good news is, ladies and gentlemen, 93% of you will not die. That's good odds. 93% will not die. See the 100 people around here? Pick seven of them and say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. No, don't come back. You said I was going about it the wrong way. The heckler did not like the presentation. Welcome to Piccadilly Gardens. As you may notice, coronavirus has taken away all the bagheads and junkies. There's no, there's no bad people selling spice to the homeless here right now. Good to see the madam with the very fashionable face mask. She will not get coronavirus. Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is the economy is now cancelled. You can go home and relax. Go smoke some weed. Take it easy. The economy and the stock market are all finished now because of coronavirus. 97% will be fine. The other 3% not so much. Anyway, the official mortality rate is probably around 7%. So ladies and gentlemen, out of the 100 people you know, Choose seven of them to say goodbye to. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not saying it's the end of the world, but coronavirus is going to change everything. And the main thing it's going to change, it's going to bring house prices down, rent down, prices of fuel. Do you know why? Because when the air population is a lot less, there's less demand. And you know what happens when there's less demand? Prices come down. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Boots the Pharmacist. Do you guys have anything for advanced stage level 17 coronavirus? I see you're selling Viagra, that'll do. They're selling Viagra. That will do. Ladies and gentlemen, you might have pneumonia, you might be coughing, you might be eating bat soup, but with the Viagra you'll be okay. It improves blood flow to your toes, to your fingers, and uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> where do I go from here? Look at this building, what a fine erection it is. And they sell Viagra in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Milan. Ha ha ha, you think those masks will do anything against the coronavirus? <laughs> Thank you for keeping us safe by wearing masks, though, by the way. We do appreciate it. Majesty's Government Department for Fear and Panic. This is a coronavirus public service announcement. Coronavirus is only going to kill 7% of you. So the good news is 93% will be fine. So don't worry about the 7%. The world is overpopulated anyway, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, please submit to quarantine when the local government official comes to your house and says that you're not allowed to leave the house for two weeks. Make sure you stock up with rice, beans, water, and an ounce of very high-grade cannabis. That will get you through your two-week <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is you don't need to keep turning up at those jobs that you hate. Coronavirus has cancelled the economy. You are free to laze around and do nothing, which is what you all want to be doing anyway. The economy's cancelled. Your holiday's cancelled. The government's cancelled. In fact, everything has collapsed so far that now your government messages are brought to you by a tall man with a beard on a megaphone walking slowly down a tram platform. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you panic and feel fear. 93% of you will be fine, but for the 7%, we might as well say goodbye now. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a nice. Take care.
UK government coronavirus public information service. We are following the man wearing the sandwich board from the God botherers, the Christians, the Jesus Christ people. And it says, Then spake Jesus, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. That's all true until coronavirus came and wrecked it for everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, God will not save you. Jesus will not save you. Not even Muhammad, Ganesh, or Vishnu are going to save you today. Coronavirus, ladies and gentlemen, it has a confirmed 7% death rate, which is fine for the 93% of us over here. But see all your grannies and granddads and old uncles? It's time to start saying goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, why are you walking around shopping and going about your jobs as if coronavirus wasn't going to end the world? Have you not been watching the CDC, the World Health Organization? Have you not been looking at the stock market? It's all over. All those disaster movies have come true. Outbreak, contagion, Armageddon. It's the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll tell you the best thing is, prices are coming down. Rent's coming down, the prices of alcohol, drugs, housing, it's all coming down, the stock market's over, holidays are over, your job's over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your official coronavirus panic from Her Majesty's government. Thank you very much. We'll move on. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I've ruined the lady's job, we're going to move on now. Anyway, I can't, you must remember me from when we... Alright, she remembers. It was a lovely afternoon. Ready? Woo! Doggy! <coughs> Who's a happy doggy? <coughs> Look at me! Bark at me! Bark at me! Gentlemen, by order of Manchester City Council, everyone not wearing a face mask for coronavirus will be fined 100 pounds. Get your face masks on, be scared. Coronavirus patrol. Here's my colleagues here, going to check you all for face masks and temperatures. We are now issuing a quarantine on Manchester City Centre. You cannot enter without a face mask. Excuse me, sir, you got a face mask for coronavirus? You got a face mask for coronavirus? You got a face mask for coronavirus? I've got an idea. What's the idea? Tell them, tell them, tell them. I'm going to make all the masks so people can be alright from this group. And it's a business idea, basically. The man's a genius! He's going to make coronavirus masks! Thank you! Thank you! But did I say you're not allowed in Manchester today? It's quarantine. It's true! That's... That was some... Oh, yeah, 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 right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a message from Manchester Piccadilly train station. Only people wearing official coronavirus face masks will be allowed to board the train. Manchester is currently quarantined. Please stand by for the end of civilized existence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is you don't need to turn up at those jobs that you hate anymore tomorrow. You can just stay at home and get coronavirus. And the good news is there is only only a 7% mortality rate, so 93% of us will be fine, as long as you're under 70. So all the old people around us here just start saying goodbye now. It's been fun, you've had a good innings, but the coronavirus is here to punish you all. Ladies and gentlemen, please note, quarantine measures are useless. Any attempt at containment is useless. The people stood around you are probably already infected with the coronavirus. Do not believe the lies from the Chinese Communist Party. It has been estimated the true figures in China are at least 50, five zero times more, 50 times more infected, 50 times more dead. But hey, everything will be okay, ladies and gentlemen. We promise you it's just like the flu. Nothing to worry about. See all those people in intensive care? It's okay. They had other underlying health conditions. You'll be fine. Nothing's going to happen to you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is Manchester City Centre is under quarantine. There is nothing to see there anymore. Everyone's already ill. So you might as well turn around, get back on the train and go home because the economy has been cancelled. The stock market is over. International travel is over. The government doesn't know what to do. There's no more coronavirus testing kits. People are dropping like flies. The hospitals are already full. There's been a denotice on the media to not report on it. So everything. In fact, if you just remember one message, ladies and gentlemen, it is to panic as much as you can. Keep on panicking. Staying calm is for the weak. Thank you. Testing. Testing. Mic test. Wait, hold, hold, wait. And action. Lady in the fluorescent. Action. Where was Where was Where was Popping on megaphone. Action. Wait. You meant to say that line to me, not to the radio. Say the line to me. Say the line to me, not into the radio. This is the worst actress I've ever hired. <laughs> All right. right. Are we free to go? Or are we in trouble? Do we have to stay? Are we under detention? I think we're free. We're free to go, man. Are we free to go? You got two radios. It must be really important if you're holding a radio in your hand. It must be really a serious thing. Love you. You can report it in as much as you like, but they're not going to send the cavalry for a guy with a megaphone. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> You've been great. Thank you. It's okay. You can cut the neck. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. You don't need to go to work tomorrow. Coronavirus has probably put half your office in the hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, it has a 113% mortality rate, which means that for every 100 people that get it, another 13 people die of shock. Ladies and gentlemen, why are you not all panicking? It's just, it's not like the flu, it's really serious. Look at these school kids smiling. I can't even use this footage anymore. You guys are under 18, get out of my shot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please panic more. You're not panicking enough. Thank you. Well, is her name Michelle? Michelle is it? Uh, I just want to explain myself to the lady in the fluorescent jacket. It's not anything other than YouTube comedy. You don't need to be upset about it or worried. Everything will be okay. Okay, bye-bye.